How do we pay the climate change bill? First, it's crucial to be clear on the types of cost involved. There's a cost of mitigation, that is of lowering greenhouse gas emissions. And secondly, there are costs because funds are needed to enable people to adapt to dangerous climate change. So how do we pay for mitigation and adaptation? To answer this, consider three points. The first is, it's essential that there be political action at the state level. Crucially, governments must put a price on the use of carbon. They can do so in a variety of ways. They can use carbon taxes, or they can use emissions trading schemes. They can auction off permits uh, for the permission to emit greenhouse gases. Whichever of the, these instruments they use, they must put a price on the use of carbon. States, however, must also go beyond this. They must use any revenues generated to invest in clean technology so that people have alternative non-fossil fuel sources of energy. In addition to this, governments must introduce regulations that bring about energy efficient transportation networks, for example, or that bring into existence uh, low carbon buildings and housing. Turn now to a second point. At the international level, there's a paramount need for the transfer of clean technology from the developed world to developing countries. Many people lack access to energy. If, however, they are to develop by using fossil fuels, it will trigger dangerous climate change. It is therefore essential that there's a transfer of clean technology to enable people to develop, but do so in a way that doesn't trigger dangerous climate change. Consider now a third point. It's crucial that any account of how we pay the climate change bill does so equitably, does so fairly. Now there are two principles that we may invoke here. Uh, firstly, there's a deep-rooted conviction that the polluter, those who have emitted the most, should pay. Secondly, there's also a strong commitment to the idea that the least advantage should not have to bear the burden, that those with the ability to pay should pay. Now this has tremendous implications both for what should be agreed in Copenhagen in December of this year, but also what takes place within the state. Those who lack access to energy should not have to pay the bill. So how should we pay the climate change bill? We should do so with state action that puts a price on the use of carbon. We should do so by investing in clean technology and transferring it. And we should do so with equity. Thank you.